Hey, welcome to Lyons Township High School Physics C. Uh, got an example of something rolling, and uh, it's going to be rolling down a hill and then going, uh, executing a loop. So if you're ready, let's, uh, let's see if we can roll with it. Uh, all right, so it's real simple. Um, and we've had a variation on a problem like this in the past. You've got an initial hill, and then it rolls into a loop-de-loop, -loop, like so. All right. And the initial hill has a height h. The loop has a radius r. And in the past, what we did was we said, hey, if we have a cart and we release it from here, from rest, um, what's the minimum height in terms of r such that that cart can negotiate the loop without falling out. And um, just a couple notes from when we did that, um, we figured out that that min velocity right there was root gr. So that's from a previous calculation. Um, we also, when we use that, we figured out, that's from doing, by the way, dynamics. Um, when we, we use that to figure out the min height using conservation of energy, um, we end up with a height that was two and a half times this radius. So if there's no friction or anything, if this height is two and a half times this radius, uh, that car will negotiate that loop without falling out. Well, this time we're going to change it up and make it a ball. So it's a solid, oh, can't spell solid, <laughs> solid ball. All right, so we got a solid ball. Um, now we're going to figure out what this min height is now. So uh, first thing I'll say, now remember before the min height, and I'll just kind of put this off to the side, was uh, two and a half times the radius. Okay, so that was the height if it was just a cart rolling. Well, now we've got a ball rolling, okay? Um, so first thing I want you to do is guess. If you've got to roll the ball through the loop, Will this min height be more than two and a half r, equal to two and a half r, or less than two and a half r? Okay, so what's your, what's your guess? All right, and then we're gonna do, now we're gonna do the calculations to figure out like, well, which one is it, okay? Um, since we have an object moving from point A to point B, uh, our best bet is to use conservation of energy going from A to B. So if we do conservation of energy, um, we've got k naught plus u naught plus work non-conservative equals k final plus u final. Um, now some notes. Uh, we're starting this ball from rest, so there's no initial kinetic energy. And the only, uh, there's actually two non-conservative forces acting here. Um, if it's rolling without slipping, there is static friction. Um, However, static friction is not going to add or take away mechanical energy from the system. Uh, what it does do is acts as a conduit to, tr to turn translational kinetic energy into rotational kinetic energy, or more properly, potential energy into rotational kinetic energy. So even though we have static friction here, it's not doing any mechanical work. It's not adding energy or taking energy away from the ball. Um, in addition, uh, the normal force acts on the ball but it doesn't do any work either because it is always perpendicular to the, the direction of the ball's motion. So this term is also zero, okay? Um, for this term, uh, we just got mgh, okay? And we're trying to find h, that's our unknown. Over here, we got kinetic energy final. Um, now this is gonna actually have two terms. It's gonna have translational rotational energy, so I'll kind of write that kt, plus is gonna have rotational, we'll call that kr, and then plus, we're going to have mg and the height here above the ground, I'm using h is 0 there, um, is going to be 2r. Okay? All right, and then um, we're going to do a little more physics, and then we got some algebra. Uh, so we got mgh equals 1 half mv squared, and this, this is happening at the top of the loop, plus uh, 1 half i omega squared. Um, and then we got our plus, and I'll rewrite this as 2mgr, okay? Uh, a couple things for a solid ball. Moment of inertia is 2 fifths 
mr squared. And if the ball is rolling without slipping, omega is v over r. Okay, so I'm going to make those two substitutions uh, first. And we'll do that right here. So we got mgh equals 1 half m v squared plus 1 half i is 2 fifths mr squared omega squared plus uh, 2 mgr. Okay. Uh, first thing I notice is that m drops out. We have a mass in every term. Okay. Um, the other substitution that we, other two substitutions that we can make, oh, I didn't make this one. Omega is going to be V over R. I'm going to put that in right there. But I also know V at the top of the loop still has got to be that in order for the ball to not fall out of the circular path that's, that's rolling in. So I'm going to make those two substitutions. So we get GH equals one half. Um, v squared would be GR, okay, plus uh, that becomes a one fifth. We've got r squared. And then omega squared would be v squared over r squared. OK. Oh, and times, uh, almost forgot, times g. Oh, that's v squared. Never mind. I'll get that out of there in a sec. Uh, plus, uh, we got our 2gr. OK, so I got to sub in my v right there. Uh, so we got gh equals a half gr plus uh, the r squareds drop out, so we got a fifth. v squared is gr plus 2gr. Uh, next thing you might notice that cancels is the acceleration of gravity. So this, this experiment would work the same here as it would on the moon or Jupiter or somewhere else. So the g's drop out. And basic, oh, basically, um, you've got a bunch of terms with r in them. So h equals, um, the common denominator would be 10, so this would be 5 tenths plus 2 tenths, and then 2 would be 20 tenths r. Or the min height would be um, 27 tenths r, or 2.7 r. Okay? So that's your min height. So a quick note, um, that's just a little bit more than before. Okay? Before, when we did conservation of energy and it was just a cart roll, you know, traveling through this, this term wasn't there. So um, when that term wasn't there, more of this initial energy could become translational energy. Um, you, needed, you, needed, you needed less overall. Well, now you, gotta, you still got to do this, but now we're adding a term over here. So since we're adding a term here, this side's got to get bigger as well. Um, so it got bigger by uh, 2 tenths or 1 fifth r, basically. Um, so yeah, um, that's, a, that's a use of conservation of energy. Um, so when you've when you got to make things rotate, it takes more energy to make them do that. So I hope that was helpful. Um, again, an example of, a, of rolling as opposed to just moving through a, a vertical loop um, and using conservation of energy, um, accounting for translational and rotational energy to get an object from point A to point B.